Minnesota took the first, a 4-3 decision here in St. Paul. The final two will both take place in Arizona. Freddie Goodrow in on the forecheck for Minnesota. Threw it out front to Hartman. And his redirect went just wide. Erickson Eck a little slow to his feet after a collision at the Minnesota line. Schmaltz barking with Felino as both players head into the bench. Flurry deflects this one wide of the target. Balamaki. A defense first team and then to get a play like they got the OT winner from Goligoski. Had some marquee moments in the season from the from the back end. Flurry hangs on to this one. You know, the little ways. Shots on net, traffic. Defensive side. You're going to see a lot of that tonight, but they just don't have the execution. Sam Steele carries in for Minnesota to Zuccaro! And a save by Ingram! Turns Goss to spare around, but they pick this one up and it's off to the races. The patience from Steele, and then the weight on this one is what impresses me. Stop up, head, and then nice little touch pass. Good feel. Goss to spare turned around. Not concerned about him breaking that play up with the stick, and then Merrill holds his own for Minnesota. Good roll, try to go back to Merrill. Boldy from the circle, and that's kicked out by Ingram. As the puck got out to the points, too, they pressure out from the middle and really didn't give up much. Boyd moves it ahead. Flurry down. Boyd on the rebound. Spurgeon connects with Erickson Eck. He's in behind the defense. Erickson Eck lost control. By the center to Kaprizov. Greenway's pass doesn't connect. Erickson Eck sweeps one on goal. Schmaltz went cross ice with it. Richie to Chikrin jumping up in the play. Chikrin shot right on. Knocked down by Flurry. Here through the first 11 and a half minutes. Schmaltz. Nemeth fire. Saved by Flurry. He's double teamed along the boards. Stetcher holds his own. Valamaki a long shot. Saved by Flurry. Against Bukestead's group for Arizona. And we're underway in the second period. Puck comes back for Merrill and across to Addison. Zugarello grabs a loose puck for Minnesota across to Kaprizov. It's five on three. And on top of that, Peyton has lost his stick. Boldy fires. And a save by Ingram. The forward is without a stick. We've got to work that side because this isn't the shot you want. Five on three. A little opening there, but to Zuccarello. Back for Addison. Fires, it was blocked out front. Kaprizov on the rebound. And it's kicked out by Ingram. Can't kick that net off purposefully. And that one shoulder bump to the post. That's likely what he's talking to him about. You don't see a lot of goaltenders lean into that post that hard. 22 in the two man. Kaprizov and Zuccarello play catch from behind the net. Kaprizov out front, Erickson Eck saved by Ingram. Rebound is loose. Still no whistle, it goes to the corner. Erickson Eck to Boldy. Addison, Kaprizov centers. Zuccarello scores! And we've seen Kaprizov and Zuccarello behind the net, tic-tac-toe. This time they throw it out. It's not the two of them. They find Erickson X stick. That one doesn't go, but they stick with it. And then, again, shoulder check for Kaprizov. He knows where this puck is going before it touches his stick. Right on the tape for Zuccarello. He deposits that into an empty net. Addison and Kaprizov, the assists on the Zuccarello. Five on three goal. Minnesota snaps a zero for nine on the power play. Hartman in. Hartman centered. They score! Freddie a pair of power play goals, and Minnesota leads it 2-0. Freddie Gaudreau finds Hartman on the backside, but nice patience. He doesn't throw that one in the pads of Ingram. He pulls him out of the net even further, brings him to the corner. Then he finds Gaudreau posted up on that backside, ready to play, stick on the ice. And Coyotes players are flying all over the ice, trying to do anything they can to keep it out of the net. Create a chance for Arizona. Fisher into the corner for Ritchie. Ritchie tried to center. Flurry down. Fisher on the rebound is stopped by Flurry. Knocked away in the wild end numbers. Hartman to Boldy. Boldy moves in. Back for Hartman. And the bouncing clock.
Capaldi a shot saved by Ingram. Remember on the second we talked about Rush being fed by turnovers. The Wild get an odd man rush off a turnover, but the pass doesn't work out. The, crick, the first two on one, but. Out to the line, Middleton, a long shot. It's deflected just wide. Erickson Eck fights through Nemeth's check. Spurgeon centers. Greenway wheels and fires, and Ingram got a pad on it. You go into a game knowing, hey, listen, we've, we might have to win this one. one nothing. Stressful. They compete, though, Arizona does. And Chickren down low. Erickson Eck cuts him off. Strickland works back the other way, threw it toward the net, and the backhander, save Flurry, rebound, Pro scores. Flurry with a terrific save on the first chance, but Kraus on the rebound, buries it, and Arizona cuts Minnesota's lead in half. Well, and the grief line just gets lost in their own zone, and they get spread out up top, and Marcus Foligno gets beat back to the net. Kraus is able to jump on that rebound, then he goes off of the head of Fleury and in. But really, that was a great sequence from Chikrin. And then Dumba back to play it out to center ice. Kaprizov moves in. Fire scores! Number 100 for Kirill Kaprizov! Number 100, and what a release this is. Picks his puck up in the neutral zone, finds some space in the middle of the ice, and then just a quick snap wonder, far side. Sorry to interrupt. I wonder if the Coyotes are taking a look at this to see if it was onside. And in fact, a challenge by Arizona as the linesmen come over to throw the headsets on. Boy, that one's close. Really close. Steel's blade is on the ice, and any part of his body that's there on that blue keeps him on side, but the puck has to be fully in to the zone. After Arizona's coach's challenge, it's determined at 10.06 of the period, the play was offside prior to the goal. Ball the ice is overturned, we have no goal. So Hayton knocks it down. Brodeen got a piece of it, a centering pass. A lot of traffic in front, and it's pushed just wide. Brodeen will try to eat it along the wall. Felino will do the same. And the Wild hang on for a 2-1 win at home. Back-to-back -back victories for Minnesota.